Why do we still have propeller planes? The surprising truth about old tech. When you think of cutting edge aviation, you probably picture sleek, whispering jets. So why in 2025, do we still see plenty of planes with propellers churning through the skies? The answer isn't nostalgia, it's brilliant, enduring engineering. Propeller planes, especially those with modern turboprop engines, aren't relics. They're often the smartest tool for the job. For short to medium haul flights, regional commutes, and rugged environments, they offer a combination of efficiency, power, and versatility that pure jet engines simply can't match. They're the workhorses connecting small towns, conducting scientific surveys, and serving as the backbone of militaries worldwide. Where props absolutely dominate. Let's get specific. On flights under 500 miles with frequent stops, a modern turboprop is a fuel-sipping champion. It's more efficient at lower altitudes and speeds, which keeps ticket prices down and is easier on the environment per passenger mile. Then there's the matter of grit. Propeller planes can take off and land on shockingly short, rough runways. Gravel, sand, ice, where jets dare not go. This makes them heroes of the Arctic, the outback, and remote island communities. From the durable C-130 Hercules hauling cargo into battlefields to the Dash 8 you might board for a regional getaway, these planes excel in the niches where brute power and slow speed control are king. The perfect blend of power and pragmatism. The key to the modern propeller's success is the turboprop engine itself. Think of it as a hybrid, a jet core that spins a propeller. This gives you the tremendous power of a jet turbine, but uses it to drive a prop that moves a huge volume of air efficiently. The result? Superior performance at lower speeds and shorter runways. For airlines serving regional networks, for cargo operators needing to land anywhere, and for special missions requiring low and slow flight, the propeller plane isn't just an option. It's the superior, economical, and often more capable choice. So we still have propeller planes because they are masters of efficiency, short field performance, and practical power. They're not outdated, they're optimized, perfectly engineered for missions where jets would be wasteful or ineffective. They prove that in the high-tech world of aviation, sometimes the most sophisticated solution involves a brilliantly designed blade spinning in the air. What's the most interesting propeller plane you've ever flown on or seen? Share your stories in the comments below. If this video shed new light on the aviation world around you, give it a like and share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe for more content that explores the how and why of the technology in our skies. Thanks so much for watching.